Hello. Just got my message. Moonstruck Klee is live in our online. And I'm on YouTube now, too. Oh, my God. Technology. <laughs> yeah. Hello, everyone. Right. I think we were excited by a tape recorder. <laughs> right? Remember those days? Yeah. No, seriously. <laughs> yeah, for yeah. sure. Uh Hey, how are you? Hi, Cindy. Hello, everyone. Please let me know if you can hear me okay and can see me okay. We're just going to be gathering here for a few minutes, waiting for our chief financial officer to join. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Jody, love you too. Hi, you guys. Welcome. Happy Valentine's Day. Great. Thanks, Carm. Yeah. Uh -huh. Wow. That is so cool. Hi, everyone. We're just going to take a couple of minutes and let people jump on. Um, and then we're just waiting for our... Um, our moderator, Lee Berry, to join us. Um, he's going to help guide us through this process. So he doesn't know yet, <laughs> but he's going to help us. Uh, hopefully he'll join soon. We we're going to show you guys around the shop, but it's just we're just sort of like jumbled up right now. So I think we might wait and do that another time where we're actually um, – you know, we'll focus on that. We'll just give you a tour of the shop for those of you who haven't been here or haven't been here in a while. So um, we're probably going to postpone that a little bit and then um, do it another time. We didn't realize how much paraphernalia we would need to actually get this up and running. So, okay, I'm going to send our friend a little message. Be right back. Get in. Hello. Hi, Mary Fassett. We miss you. Happy Valentine's Day. We love birds. Hi, Michael. Thanks for joining. Thanks for chi chiming in. We're just waiting a few minutes for people to gather and we're waiting for our um, chief financial officer to join. <laughs> That's Lee, in case anybody is wondering, our friend Lee Berry. Ah. Uh -oh. No, I didn't know you were backstage, Lee. How do I let you uh, on stage? Hi, Liz. Hmm. Sorry, I just trying to figure out how to let Lee into the group. Can you hear me, Lee? Don't worry about the panic look on my face. It won't last long. <laughs> okay, we'll just wait a couple more minutes. And if and if he's we have trouble getting him in, we'll have to um, we'll have to continue on without him. Though I would really hate to do that. <laughs> How's everybody doing tonight? Are you enjoying your Valentine's Day? Hi, Gary. Happy Valentine's Day. Thanks for joining. Oh, there you are, Lee. Mike. 
Hi, Lee Berry. Oh, look, you've got your Valentine's red on. Oh, nice. Hi. We're just going to wait a couple more minutes to see if we get more people to join since we, we started a little early because we were panicking. <laughs> we want to make sure we got on. Everybody got on okay. So thanks. I'm just going to, I'm going to um, leave you on, Lee, just for a minute until we can um, get to uh, introduce you. Okay. We've been calling you our chief for an financial officer. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> I guess I'll, I'll accept that. Yeah. It's a good position to be in. <laughs> Thanks to everybody for joining. Um, Alex is here. She's in the wings. I'm going to introduce her in just a minute. She's um, going to be selling some things tonight as well. Um, and Lee's going to be helping us. He's going to kind of be keeping track of um, any questions you might have, or if, if, um, if you're lucky enough to win something, um, or buy something, he'll actually document who was that one, the item, et cetera. So, and I'll get into more of the specifics of how it's going to work in just a second. Um, again, just waiting a couple more minutes. Um, we're broadcasting live on Facebook and YouTube right now. I guess I don't have to be right up here, do I? <laughs> hey, Barbara. Um, Barbara's on. Barbara Smala. Is oh, on. Barbara. Yes, we love Barbara. Barbara. What a wonderful, wonderful artist. Um, hi, Jeanette. Um, hi, Craig. Hey, Craig. How you doing? Happy Valentine's Day. Um, so um, just to get started a little bit, for those of those of you who may not know, I'm Elisa, um, and I'm the owner of Moonstruck Clee Vintage. Clee is short for Cleveland, for those who might not know. Um, we're just, uh, we've been in Little Italy uh, in Cleveland, Ohio for about six years. We sell mostly vintage and, we, vintage, and we also sell, or we represent a couple of artists, jewelry makers, uh, local artists. We, uh, we have our, our dear friends, Bars Bars, who make soaps. Um, so we we sell some local vendors here as well, but mostly we do vintage. I'm going to call Alex in to the picture. <laughs> and many of you might know Alex. Alex Hi, works. Hi. Alex. Hi, Alex. <laughs> Alex works in the store very yeah. often for me. She's a dear friend of mine. She's oh, also thanks. a vintage seller, and she's been selling for many years. Um, and we sell many of her items in the shop as well. So she's going to be selling things tonight as well as uh, myself. Um, so. Did you want to talk a little bit about your shop? Well, I just want to say thank you, Elisa, for having me. This is wonderful, and um, this is going to be fun, I hope, for everybody. <laughs> um, I do have a shop on Etsy, like Elisa does. I have Zoom Vintage, just like Zoom Chat, the Zoom Vintage. I was there before Zoom Chat, um, <laughs> just for the record. But anyways, um, so just have fun, and I hope you find something interesting to buy. Wow. Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah, so we're just going to be taking turns, and um, Alex has a great eye, so she has some really unique items, and we just have fun. This is just about fun, guys. We're really not even uh, no. ex assuming we that. Care. We don't care if you buy anything. No. We don't have to buy anything. No. Just, we're drinking a little wine. We're, wine so. uh, we're just enjoying ourselves. Yeah. And our friend Lee Scantleberry is joining us tonight. Lee is our chief financial officer, <laughs> uh, number keeper, um, and he's going to help us track the sales and um, what's going on, help us with any questions that might be in the chat because we'll be a little distracted. So um, Lee's going to be just here helping out and hanging out with us. He's he's. We always say that when Lee's working in the store, you know, inappropriate discounts for everyone. So you want to really chum up to Lee if you can. <laughs> That's right. So um, I'm glad to be helping out. Yeah. Aww. Um we really appreciate you. Um so Lee if you I can hide you if you want or if you'd like to hide me. And okay. I'm going to the chat because that is my job is to monitor chat. Okay. I'm gonna um remove you then. Okay. He's not always with us. He's, he's not left us, so he's here. Um, so yeah, so so basically, we want to talk to you a little bit about the rules. So, since let's see, what time is it? It's six oh six. Okay, great. Thank you, timekeeper. <laughs> 
So we're going to talk a little bit about the rules and then, you know, we'll probably repeat this several times because um, I'm just going to pop up my banner real quick. So, okay. I'm adding my um, email address at the bottom. So, and it's going to be important for anyone that might purchase something tonight. Again, that's not the emphasis here. We're really just trying to get our footing in terms of, you know, how this all works and if it's something we'd like to go do going forward. And we think we do. We just want to make sure um, we know what we're doing. Because we don't. <laughs> we don't. We don't know what we're doing. We in don't. case you're wondering. Yeah. No. Um, but we did. But we're going to try. Yes. We're going to try. We put lipstick on for yeah, you. Um, that's as rare. good as it gets. Yeah, rare. <laughs> especially with masks right. these days. So and one thing I do want to point out to everybody, just so you know, uh, we're very safe here in the store. We always wear masks. We always sanitize and keep our surfaces clean. It happens that Alex and I are not wearing masks because we're in each other's bubble. We work together. So um, that's the only reason we're not really wearing masks. Normally, we always wear masks in the shop. We're very safe and we follow all pro protocol. Just so you know, we want to make that clear to everybody. <clears throat> Excuse me. So what I, what I want to do next is I want to talk about the rules of the game. So, <laughs> so the way this is going to work is we're going to each take turns holding up a specific item to, that's for sale. So, And we're going to talk to you a little bit about that item. We're going to describe it. We're going to tell you how we think you could use it or maybe, hey, Marcy. Um, we're going to just give you a little information and background. Then we're going to give you the price. And then after that, last but not least, we're going to give you the number assigned to the item. And when you have that number, you are free to enter into the chat if you'd like to purchase that item. And the first person who enters that number in the chat is able to buy the item. So the, the key here, though, is everybody's internet is a little bit different. Um, you want to make sure and refresh. You want to make sure that you're paying attention to the fact that everybody's internet is different. Some people's are slower than others. So we just want to make sure that you understand that what you see might be a little bit different than what Lee sees, and Lee is the final word. So whatever Lee sees, whoever is first, according to Lee, is who has won the item. He's the judge. He's the judge and jury. He's, so, he's everything. So, so the judge has a question. <laughs> yes, it's, it's, it, it's my first time as well. Uh, so I can see the chat, but I don't seem to be able to actually enter in any comments. Is that a feature or a bug? You can't enter a comment. No. I don't know. Okay. I don't know if it's a feature or a bug. We'll, we'll find out. Um, well, more to the point, right now I don't seem to be able to do that, so I will just simply tell you what okay. I'm reading in the chat and who wins. And then if okay. if, if a fight breaks out, let me know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we don't anticipate, uh, we don't anticipate no, any. I know, I'm just joking. But thank you for, yes, if a fight breaks out, you still are making the final decision. <laughs> okay. Um, so once the, and the way, so that's basically how this, the sale part of it works. The other part of this is if you do if you do enter that number and you're chosen as the first person to want to purchase that, after the sale, we ask that you would email us at that email address scrolling along the bottom of the screen. And we would like to know from you what your PayPal email address is. And and don't if you don't use PayPal, it's okay. We'll figure out a way to invoice you. But our preferred method is PayPal. So if you would send us your PayPal email address um that would be great and then also let us know will you would you like us to ship it to you or would you like to pick it up at the store and obviously for local people primarily so we're happy to then send you an invoice with the cost of the item and a shipping quote if you'd like it shipped um, once you pay then we will ship it to you or we will hold it in the shop until you are it's convenient for you to pick it up so that's basically it. We'll also, we'll combine any items that you may, uh, if you buy more than one, you know, we'll combine it and we'll make sure, we're going to get you the best possible shipping quote. Mm -hmm. Alex and I are very comfortable yes, with yeah. shipping. We ship all the time. 
all the time, all over the world. So we're very, we're kind of adept at this. So, um, so we're not, you know, wherever you are, we can get it to you. So that's, that's the main point here. So, so just to uh, reiterate, we're going to show you an item and we'll go, we'll go for the first time, just so you have a sense for the, how things will work. We'll show you the item. We'll describe it a little bit. We'll answer any questions you have. We'll tell you the price and then we give you a number. The numbers will not be sequential. So you will not be able to guess the number ahead of time. Hopefully, unless we messed up. <laughs> we didn't. We didn't. We didn't so anything else. yeah, no, no, it's going to be perfect. Yeah. Um, so then once we tell you the number, if you're interested, just type the number in the chat. Okay, so if it's number 110, you would just type 110 in the chat. Okay, does anybody have any questions before we get started? Anybody? We'll just take a minute. Hi, Jim. Welcome. Our friend Jim Zaychuk is online is with Jim us. Z? Jim hey, Z. Jim. Hey, hey, oh my God. God. Shout out to Jim Z. Yeah. Jim's a, a reseller himself. He's a vintage reseller. He has excellent taste. He does. Um, and we've been friends for 150,000 years. So it's great. Same with Gary. Gary's online too. We are, we've been friends for 150,000 years too. So, okay. So, you want me to start? You start. You go first. Okay. I'm going to start. I'm going to start. Bear with me. Sorry about my back being turned to you. Hi, Barb. Thanks for joining. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. Okay. Any questions so far? Oh, interested in vintage ladies' hankies. We could probably connect you with some hankies. We sell a lot of hankies. Maureen, are you looking for crocheted lacy hankies? Or are you looking for printed hankies? Let us know a little bit more information and we can get back to you. Okay. Okay. So the first item I'm going to show you tonight um, we sell a lot of barware in the shop. Um, I love it. Everybody loves it, especially when it's um, really cool like this. I have a matching set of happy anniversary and fantastic font. These are probably 1940s. Would you say, Alex? 40s? I would say 40s. Yep. Definitely 40s. Yep. They're etched. There's these fantastic uppercase Beautiful, the champagne goes down into the flutes. There's a matching pair, perfect for an anniversary gift. Um, just They're just super sweet and actually super cool because 40s is, you know, just a cool time. Um, it's just really neat Art Deco font. Um, we, uh, I would think this would be a perfect anniversary gift, but it could also be just perfect for your collection if you're into barware from that period. Okay. So this item in the shop, and we're gonna be doing, some of our items are gonna be discounted and, and marked down on sale. So we're gonna let you know when that happens. Some items are brand new tonight, so they won't be discounted necessarily, but this, normally we're selling this pair for $39 tonight. Um, we're selling them for $29, so that's $10 off, and the number is 18. So $29, number 18. If you're, enter if you're interested, you can enter 18 in the chat, and we'll hold those for you. Okay, thanks. Okay, Alex. Hello. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with glass. This is a giant wine glass. <laughs> Just kidding. It's actually a compote. It's mid-century modern blown glass, probably made in Italy. Um, it's pretty fabulous. I'm sure you can see it's kind of like a yellow kind of chartreuse almost, and then the stem is clear. So this would look lovely on your I don't know on your coffee table. Maybe you could put a bunch of Plastic grapes coming out of it. I think they'd be fabulous. A nice candle. A nice, oh, great. candle would be yeah, great. Yes. Or if you want, you can just pour yourself a giant. <laughs> I um, like the loop de loo yeah. and the stem. Yeah, the it's stem is cool. really cool. Yeah, you see this little 
Yeah. And it's so kind of like a chartreuse gold. It is. It's, char it's chartreuse, yeah. right? Chartreuse yeah. gold. Yep. Uh -huh. Very yep. nice. So Beautiful. is that all I need to say, Lisa? I think that's enough. So can I give them the, uh, yes. the number on the price? <laughs> yes, you may. <laughs> okay. So, so this lovely compote is number 37 and it's $38. Thank you. This is fun, you guys. Thanks so much for joining. Thanks, Maureen. We will get back to you, okay? We appreciate your interest. Um, we do sell a lot of hankies in the shop, so I'm sure we can help you out. Hey, Joanne. Oh, no, the websites and the email don't work. I'm sorry. You found us, though. I'm so glad. I wonder why that is the case. Anyway, we're going to keep going. We're going to hope people find us. Um, oh, I see Susan. Thank you. Thanks, Susan. I appreciate you letting us know. I'm going to get another item. Um, the next item we have here is, um, hey, Tracy. Thanks for joining. Okay. So this is a linen, never used dish towel with gorgeous big cabbage roses and an urn. So the background is a, is a true like golden color. Um, it's new old stock. So I, I just love these linen towels. I think they're great as towels. And I also think they're really wonderful just framed or displayed in your kitchen or wherever. This, this is a very romantic pinks, dark pinks, light pinks, some green leafy stuff going on there. Super nice, super pretty. I've also seen people do crafts out of these, you know, they can kind of use them as a uh, uh, fabric, just fabric to use on whatever project you're working on. Okay, so normally this, we're selling this in the shop normally for $10. Tonight it's $8, number 12. $8, number 12, for the Pretty Rose Linen Dish Towel. I only use linen dish towels at home. I use the ones that are stained, but I, I, yeah. I use linen. I only use linen. Yeah. I don't linen know, it makes great. me feel fancy. It's such yeah. fancy. Sorry. Very, very elegant. <laughs> All right, we have a sale to Maureen. Maureen, oh, congratulations. Yay. Love that. Okay, Alex. Okay, so here we with linen tea towels for anyone out there who might be Irish. This is a lovely donkey <laughs> surrounded by shamrocks. 100% linen, made in Ireland. Um, again, new old stock. It's never been used. So 1970s, it's, like yeah, flower yeah, power. Yeah, probably, yeah, flower power. It is like flower power. Yeah, look at the flowers down here. I'll hold this up so they can see. It's pretty fabulous. Um, you could hang it on your wall or you could use it. Whatever you want to do. It's lovely. It would be a nice gift. It would be a really nice gift because it's perfect. Okay, so that is number 26. And tonight it is $12. So. <laughs> <laughs> I can't comment, but Diane, LOL. <laughs> <laughs> Good to see you, lady. <laughs> Lucky, Lucky ass. ass. Lucky ass. <laughs> okay. Next item <laughs> for Democrats only. Thanks, Suzanne. No politics. We don't talk about politics <laughs> or religion for that matter. We are. Never mind. <laughs> I'm not going to go there. Uh, the next item I have here is this fantastic ironstone pitcher these beautiful flowers applied that lovely look at that twisted handle it has a marking on the bottom it's made in germany you can see hopefully that's um, focusing okay you can definitely see the wear around the edges it's it's definitely got some wear on it I love these. I use these as um, vases. Yeah. yeah, a big bouquet of peonies, something really special. Roses. Roses would look really nice in here. Or you could just use it 
as it, it'd be a great watering pitcher for your plants, your your um, house plants. It's just really lovely, super sturdy. Germany, always high quality. It's really clean inside. Right? Yeah, and it's you, super you clean. Use that, you can use that um, on your dining table for water, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, you could use it on your table for water as well. So in the shop, it's normally $36. Um, I'm doing a deep discount on this because we've had it for a little while, but I'm selling it for $18. 20, number 20, $18. Good deal. Yes, Jim, lilacs in this would be gorgeous. Perfect. Absolutely gorgeous. I like it too because it's it's really sort of that cottagey farmhouse yeah. look. Very uh, versatile. Cottage chic. Cottage chic, yes, absolutely. Okay. Okay, Alex. Okay, so, so my next item, I mean, does everyone know who he is? This from Cleveland. This is, this, is, this is Ziggy. Do you remember Ziggy? Tom Wilson. He was a character in the comics. So this is a Ziggy bank. And um, it's all good. It's got its little uh, cap down there. So you can use it. Um, it would be a lovely gift. It's in great condition. Ceramic. Um, I can't read who made it, but it's probably made in Japan. Anyways, so this is Ziggy. It's available. And he is number 28, and he's $15. Our gym is, was Ziggy in high school. Jim Z. That's what they call them, Ziggy. They call them Ziggy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, lilacs for sure, Marcy. You're right. Um, so I'm just going to take a minute. And um, I know that some people are not able to get in because apparently the links in the email I sent out are not working. So let me just take a look. I think I have a couple of emails here. Okay, I do have one. Just let me reply if you guys don't mind one second. I shall always call you Ziggy now, Jim. <laughs> no, just because his last name was Zaychuk. So, yeah. He sort of outgrew that. Hi, Aunt Sheila. Hi. Thanks for joining. We're just taking a quick pause. Be right with you. Okay, somebody was reaching out to me, couldn't get in. Okay, so uh, one other thing I wanted to mention to you, Ziggy, um, is that we're gonna give away a couple of things tonight too. So we have a couple of uh, giveaways that Lee's gonna help us with. We're gonna do a little um, Valentine's Day trivia. So stay tuned for that. Thanks, Gary. Thanks so much for joining. Talk soon. Um, so before we, whose turn is it? Is it your turn or my turn? See, I already forgot. Uh, I'm going to, I'm going to do one more item. Then we're going to do a trivia. So we're going to do a little giveaway. Um, hopefully, hopefully the folks that couldn't get in via the links will be joining us too. So let me get one thing here. So the next item I'm going to do, you know, we sell a lot of vintage clothing and accessories here at the shop. Um, and we know it's a little tricky to sell clothing and things online like this, but um, we're going to try a few things and see how it works out. And we're also going to be um, sharing some accessories with you. So the first item is this. It's a um, top handle leather purse. It's brown. It's probably, I would say, 1950s. What would you say? Yeah, 50s. Yeah has a nice front pocket and a clip closure clasp, snap closure, very clean inside, very practical, very minimalist. Uh, it's in absolutely beautiful condition. There's no flaws. It's in great shape. It's a beautiful leather. I think it was, let me just see what it says. Is there a maker in there? Yeah, 
Yeah. yeah, Zenith is the maker, which is an interesting maker. I never heard of Zenith. Heard of Zenith either. Um, it's very nice. But it does say it's handmade inside. So it's, it's beautiful. It has some nice pockets in there and a little zipper pocket. Um, just super cute. Very thin. Lovely. So this item is um, $24 and it's number four. $24, number four, for this nice, beautiful leather 1950s pocketbook. Pocketbook, that's correct. Yes. That's right yeah. Yeah. I, I know people laugh at me all the time when I say pocketbook. What does that even mean? I don't even pocket know what book. it means. I, I'm not sure what it means. It is worse. It's a top panel purse. But anyway, like pocketbook. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay, so the next item, since we're doing purses, this is a very lovely kind of like a deepening bag. Um, I don't know if you can see, but these are like little clear beads and it's over a like a silver cloth fabric. The inside is very clean. It's a nice snap. It's kind of like crocheted. It's crocheted around here and then all these little beads. So blue, pink, green, and then kind of clear. And then it has this nice little handle it's really very attractive, nice for like, if you're going to a wedding or to a party, bottom is crocheted and you just want to have like a different purse, kind of different. Very else. mod. It is, it's very mod, yeah. But yeah, I would say, would you sparkly. say late 50s, early 60s maybe? Yeah, probably, probably, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's pretty stunning. I mean, I've never seen one like this before and um, I like it, it's pretty fabulous. Yeah, it's cool. Anyway, so this lovely pocket book. <laughs> could be yours. It's number 31. And it's $35. Yay. Okay, so I think we're going to do a giveaway. Everybody ready for a giveaway? <laughs> so we thought since it was our first time doing a sale, um, we really wanted to give away a, a couple of items just for, just for you showing up. So we really appreciate your time and that you're, you're willing to share this event with us. So um, we're going to do a little Valentine's Day trivia. And um, the first person to, Lee's going to ask a question. And the first person to enter the answer wins the free giveaway. And, and you know, we can ship it to you. We'll even pay for the shipping um, if you win. So you don't have to be local. And, um, yeah. Yeah. And Lee's going to ask, and the first person to answer, now how you get your answer is up to you. So we're just saying, we don't want to know how you got your answer. <laughs> so, all right, Lee, go ahead. What's the first one? Okay, so what notorious gangster orchestrated the St. Valentine's Day Massacre? <laughs> <laughs> Seems, you know. Fun for Valentine's. Not Day. very romantic. <laughs> it does apply to Valentine's Day. <laughs> yeah. So I know. <laughs> Alex is like mortified. <laughs> okay, Jeanette is the winner. Jeanette! Yay! It is Al Capone. Yes. Al Capone. Well done. Hey, Bill. Thanks. Sorry, Bill. You're. You lost. <laughs> but thank you. I think it's Jeanette. She's first in the chat. So Jeanette, when you have a chance, you'll you'll email us your information and and we can uh, get you the free gift uh, for tonight. Okay. <laughs> Yay! Yay. <laughs> okay, I think it's my turn, right? Turn, yep. Okay. Yep. My turn. What are you doing next to Lisa? Okay. I'm gonna do this fedora, okay. It is more contemporary than it is vintage, but it's super, oh, I just sold some on Etsy. <laughs> but it's, <laughs> cha -ching. Um, it's made by Christie's Crown Collection, okay. So it's wool and it is in pristine, beautiful condition. <laughs> No, no, this wasn't the free gift, Jim. The free no, gift. He's, yeah, he's asking. <laughs> um, I'll talk about. I'll talk a little bit about the free gifts in a minute. 
But um, no, this is um, the next item that's for sale. It's got this beautiful silk, um, sort of like a tie print uh, border on it. Yeah. Yeah. Full yard. It's a full yard. And it has the matching uh, inside, which is padded. Um, I would be surprised if this was ever worn. It can be worn with brim up, brim down, super cute. It's black. Um, I think I like it better without what the glasses. Size is it? Yeah. So I wear a women's size large, and it's fitting me pretty good. So I would say a men's medium, probably. Women's large, men's medium, super cute. Love it absolutely stunning okay it's item number one and it's twenty eight dollars twenty eight dollars again i would be surprised if this was ever worn it's suitable for a man or a woman okay okay i'm gonna really embarrass myself and since we're doing hats <laughs> This lovely hat. Um, I don't know what it would be practical to even wear this, to be honest. It doesn't keep your head warm or anything. It's just a statement. It's kind of like a, what are they call those hats that men no, wear? Like, not oh. like a box of. Yeah, like a stove top. A stove top, yeah. Yeah. So like, what this actually is on here, are they're like these little gold jewels. And uh, they're gold jewels. And then it's like brocade all around it. Um, it's very interesting for any of you that are from Cleveland. This was sold at the May Company department store, which was a great store. Um, it's in very good condition. It's a size 22, but it's really just a decorative hat. If you want to make a statement, wearing this hat, you will make a statement. <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, um, spectacle? A spectacle. <laughs> yes, it is a spectacle. Anyway, so if you'd, if you'd like this hat, it's number 36. And it's thirty-five dollars. It also would look good in a display. Oh yeah, on it's a hat good. stand. On a hat stand, yeah, it looks really, really cool. cool. Sit it on a hat stand. Yeah, it's cool. Very cool. So, Susan, if I may have a word, were you looking for the prior hat? Susan, you want the prior hat? I see one all over the place, so that's why I'm asking. Yeah, I think it's. Um, me one is Susan. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You okay. got it. <laughs> and and Marcy, <laughs> it was funny the hats transition. So I was thinking you were talking about the fedora, but I'll have to take a closer look at the one Alex has. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Um, let's see. Oh, hi Lee. You're in the private chat, so I see you're not able to be in the regular chat. No. Okay. So I'm going to just take a minute because I got an email from somebody. I won't mention any names, but she knows who she is. Wanting to know how she, how she bids. Okay. So the way this works for those who might've joined late is that we're going to hold up an item. Look at this blue bird of happiness. So cute. Um, I'm going to hold it up. I'm going to describe it. Give me a little information about it. We're going to tell you the price, and then we're going to give you the number associated with the item. And then the first person who puts that item number in the chat can purchase the item or wins the item. So if there's multiple people, we just have to take the first one. Well, I think you're safe tonight <laughs> if you really want something. So anyway, so the next item, hopefully that helped person who had the question. Um. Yes, Lisa, you do see Lee. <laughs> I'm going to hide Lee right now. Not that I have a problem with it. He has a problem with it. Okay. So this is an absolutely adorable bluebird embroidered runner. It has gorgeous crocheted edging. It's on both sides, it's a long runner. It would be like a dresser scarf, what they used to call a dresser scarf or a table runner. We call it a table runner more today, but it's really a dresser scarf because you know you always had to cover your dresser top because you had all these fancy creams and 
lotions and potions and you didn't perfume want it bottles. perfume bottles and you didn't want it to damage your um, furniture top so that's why they call it a dresser, dresser scarf um so i just love this blue birds of happiness it's absolutely adorable it looks perfect too like there's no yeah. spots or stains on it i mean it looks there is pristine. no stains no spots it's in pristine condition it's lovely I think there is one drop stitch on the edge, if I remember. No, maybe I'm wrong. There's nothing. So it's perfect. Anyway, Bluebird of Happiness, dresser scarf. It's number 15, $13. $13 for the dresser scarf. Woo! <laughs> okay, Alex. <laughs> I'm going to change it up here and I'm going with an apron. I hope you can all see this. This is a pretty cool apron. It's like got a million little like micro pleats in it. Um, it's kind of like a, it almost looks like it's a batik fabric, but then it has a gold print on top of the fabric. So it's kind of a, I don't know, kind of geometric floral. It has a little pocket right at the top. So you can, uh, if you're a waitress, you could wear this and you could put your, Tips in here, I don't know. In that pocket, <laughs> bobby whatever, pins. Bobby pins, whatever you want. But again, this is perfect. It's got nice. It's in perfect condition. It really looks like it was never worn. It's lovely. It would be pretty, just like hanging in your kitchen. It has a real um, Indian vibe. It does. It does look painted. Food. Dropping it. Sorry. I'm dropping. It does look kind of like Indian. It definitely looks Indian. So that's the uh, beautiful batik pleated apron, and it is. Number 34, and it's $24. I've never seen one like that before. I haven't either. No. I've, I've never seen it. It would be fun just to wear. Like, we're having a party, right? Yeah. I mean, the cool girls, um, they wear them over, you know, like, over skirts and yeah. just. No, I wish I could, like, I could. I know, right? Yeah. With boots and tights. I love it. It's adorable. I love it. Okay. Okay, and just to catch up, congratulations to Jeanette for buying the Bluebirds of Happiness. Yay! And Joanne for buying the apron. Yay! Oh, Joanne. Thank you, Joanne. I can see you. I can see what you're wearing. That's a private joke. <laughs> okay, what's next? Okay. Next item uh, is um, a piece of Pyrex. Um, it's a casserole dish. It's a divided dish. Um, and what I mean by that is, um, it has the divider in the center, has this super cool mid-century black and white print. There's like little stars. Um, I've seen it referred to as barbed wire. I think it was a promotional um, pattern, so it wasn't really common. Um, in fact, I didn't find a lot of them online. It's in absolutely perfect condition. There are no chips. There's no cracks. Um, the pattern is still pristine. It has its original cover, which also is divided. I believe they made them so you could use the top as well um, for really? serving. I've yeah. I've never seen a divided one like that. Yeah. So, and that's oven to table. Oven right? to table. Yeah. Right. It's really nice. Yeah. And it has the Pyrex. Oh, I don't know if you can see it or not, but probably not. But it has the Pyrex. Um, there you go, marking on it. Um, they, they refer to it as a divided casserole or a divided vegetable dish. So because you were so busy back in the day, and this is probably from the 60s, I would say. It'd be late 50s, but probably more like 60s. Um, you know, you put your peas on one side and your green beans, green beans on the other side. Um, 1958. Thank you, Jim. Appreciate you. Jim is a Pyrex fan. So, um, this is a pretty special piece. Again, the top is in good condition as well. Um, we have it marked in the store for 30. We're going to do it for 25 tonight. $25 number 14. Number 14 for you're welcome, Julianne. All right, Alex. 
Okay, guys, this is special for Valentine's Day because I get to do something for Valentine's Day. This is a stein that it has two handles. One, two. Okay, and it's called the kissing stein. It actually says on here, kissing stein. <laughs> so at the top it says, love so tender, kissing, kiss, kissings sweet with love so tender. That's what it says on the top. And then it says on the bottom, it says kissing makes... I'm sorry, I don't have my cheaters on, and it's very dark in here. <laughs> Kissing makes the heart surrender. And then it's this like, charming little couple. It's very romantic. I mean, what a great gift. Oh, it would look you cute with a little plant so in cute. it. So cute. Yeah, you could put a little plant in it, or you could drink your... Your pencils and pens. Have a beer out of it. Share it with I Have you. a beer. Or you could with literally your, drink out of it. That would could. be great, too. Share it with your significant other. <clears throat> okay, so this lovely little stein with two handles is number 27 and it's $15. It's a very nice gift. Very for that neat. special person in your life. Was it marked on the bottom at all? Do you think it's um, German? There's a, what is, I think it's probably Japan. Oh, yeah, it looks like Japan. Japan, yeah. So there's it has little, some age yeah, on it. It has mm -hmm. some age, just on the bottom. But the otherwise, the inside is clean. It's very clean, so you would be safe to drink out of it. That's it. Number 27, $15. And congratulations to Maureen for getting the Pyrex dish. Yay! Thanks, Maureen. Congratulations. It's really a really unique one. It's nice. Um, I didn't find a lot of them online. For sure. Um, uh, I think we're going to go ahead and do another giveaway, Lee. And before we do that, I just want to show everybody what I'm giving away. So I mentioned earlier, um, maybe before some people joined, um, in addition to selling vintage, we try to also enhance the store with products and vendors who are also, you know, either locally made or um, really high quality. And very often they have a very vintage vibe to them. So we're trying to um, just provide some extra little littles that people can pick up while they're, you know, it's not everybody's always looking for, you know, a Pyrex dish, but sometimes they want to pick up a little something else. So we're really careful about what we choose. And um, what's in our free giveaways tonight are these fantastic clout candles. Um, they're hand poured, they're soy, they're cotton wicks. They're beautiful. They smell incredible. They do, they're wonderful. They really are an absolute beautiful candle. Um, I've just been bringing these exclusively at home and I really love them. And they were great. They really moved quickly for the holidays. And the other thing that we're including in the free gift is these incredible um, luxury matches. So these are um, screen printed on the box. Um, so they're all hand printed on the box. And we have all different um, prints and patterns. Um, these come from London, England. Um, they're handmade. They're just absolutely beautiful. So that's what's in your free gift. Um, a candle and these lovely matches. So, nice. Yeah. So let's do, do our second giveaway, Lee. Do you have a question for everybody? Yeah, this one will be a little less maudlin than the last one, <laughs> uh, but more historical. So everybody dust off your Shakespeare. So <laughs> William Shakespeare mentions Valentine's Day in which of his plays? So I would say if you don't know the answer, guess there aren't that many of them. <laughs> First, and, it does, and it doesn't have a third or the fifth or a second or anything like that. <laughs> <laughs> Are you giving hints? <laughs> yes, but that's it. I'm out of hints now. Okay, so yes, Liz. Yes, Liz. You, I bet you didn't need the hint either. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you. So that's coming to you, Liz. You can send us your information when you get a chance. It can be at the end of the sale. Uh, we'll get it to you, however you prefer. Um, yay! Uh, I think I'm next. You are right. You okay. Are. So the next item, you know, is something, I just consider this luxurious. Um, it's this incredible, uh, incredible, incredible throw. And you can see here, um, it's 100% uh, pure lamb's wool. It is absolutely beautiful. It was um, uh, made in Switzerland. And it's gorgeous. 
It's not huge. It's a small lap um, throw. It's in perfect condition. There are no moth holes. It is lovely. It is like a dark, it's a sky blue and then a navy blue and a little white in the background, lovely fringe. It would also make a great blanket scarf. Um, yeah, yeah, that's I think how I would use it. Yeah, so, sure. that's fabulous. especially this time of year, for when you're in Cleveland, um, this is so cozy, soft, super plush, Beautiful. just absolutely lovely. And like I said, it's just in perfect condition. Um, so we've had this in the store for a little while. Originally, we were asking 38 for it, but tonight. It can be yours for $24, number seven. $24, number seven. It would look super just across a pretty chair or wrapped around your neck. Yeah, you're up. Okay. So the next item is this wonderful flask. Really cool. I've never seen one like this before. It's like this is like rattan with leather, and the bottle inside I think it's brass. Wow, is that gold? Look at it. It's beautiful. Isn't that fabulous. Yeah, that's gorgeous. Does it have any markings in the bottom? Uh, I can't. Oh, you out. can't. It doesn't come out. It doesn't come out. No, it doesn't come out. That is no. gorgeous. It's really, it's really cool. It's in really good condition. I mean, I don't. I don't really know how old this is. I mean, it is vintage, but I, I can't say. Any ideas, Alicia? Uh, I'm going to say like more of an 80s, 90s, okay. maybe. Okay. Um, okay. But that's so a really super cool. Yeah, it's very attractive. It'd be a nice, a nice gift. Um, Basket weave. Yeah, it is. It's for ten. Yeah, very classy. It's very, very classy. classy. Very yeah. cool. So, anyways, this lovely flask is number 29 with 25 dollars. That would be a really lovely bro gift. Total bro yeah. gift. Elisa. Yes. Susan asked, what's tartan? What tartan? You know, that's yeah. a good question, Susan. I don't know. Uh, well, I looked it up if you'd like uh, for me to give the Wikipedia answer. <laughs> oh, well, we know what tartan is. I think she's asking which this tartan. Ah. Uh, they all have a name. Everyone so. Is good grief. No, it doesn't say Susan. I don't know if you can tell by looking. Um, I don't know. I don't know that. Hi, Anna. Thanks for joining. Um, I'll just quickly go over the rules of the game so you know what's going on. Um, basically, all we're doing is um, Alex and I are taking turns. I'm Elisa. Um, and we're holding up an item, for instance, this lovely lamb's wool throw or um, blanket scarf. We'll describe it to you, tell you a little bit about it, and then um, we'll give you the price. And each item has a number associated with it. So if you're interested in purchasing the item, you would just need to be the first person to enter the item number in the chat. And then we will call you the owner, the new owner of this item. So it's pretty straightforward at the end or whenever's convenient for you, you're just gonna email us your um, information to the email address that's scrolling across the bottom. So, and we're gonna invoice you through PayPal. Hopefully that helps, Anna. Let me know if you have any other questions. Okay. All right. Is that my check? Yeah. Okay. okay. So back to our vintage accessories. You're welcome. Um, I have this absolutely adorable, sparkly little pouch purse. It has some great engraving along the silver edge. And that is lace. And underneath the lace are iridescent white um, sequins. It's got just this little um chain uh what do you call that band chain thingy and then inside it's just a satin very clean very very clean just lovely little pouch it's, a bride's purse. it's definitely a bride's purse it would be perfect for a bride 
Um, it would be great in the decor setting if you were just trying to, you know, set a decor. A lot, a lot of people, very romantic. romantic yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Very sweet. I can even see this, somebody wearing this out just, you know, for the oh, evening yeah. in the summertime in particular. But anyway, so it's got this, what they call a kiss snap where the two um, balls kiss and snap together. So um, previously in the shop, it was $38. We're doing it tonight, number 10 for $29. $29 for the little sequin purse. Okay, Alex. Okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm kind of a crazy item because I'm kind of crazy. <laughs> I always look for unusual things when I'm out in the field. This is called the drummer, and it's like a wooden sculpture. I'm sorry, I'm trying to get it so you can see it. Right. Okay. It's called the drummer, and it's this crazy guy playing the drums. And it's actually, um, it's actually made by an artist. His name is on the back. Handsome. 1981. <laughs> It says original by Don Mars, 1981. You see Don, he's got a good mustache. He's a cool guy. Perfect for the yeah. drummer with a big nose and big teeth. Yeah, it's like a, I got just like a bizarre thing. Like, I don't know if you know a drummer, maybe you want to buy this for him as a gift. <laughs> I think it's pretty funny. Um, so anyways, it's the drummer. And the drummer is number 32. And it's $25. You don't see one of those every day. You don't ever see one of those. You don't those. ever see one of those any day. I'm expecting to hear from Don Mars. <laughs> yeah, we think Don Mars might reach out to us. Maybe we'll get a sponsorship. We don't know. I don't know. Okay, next item. Uh, for anybody who might have seen my video I did earlier last week, I was just showing some things I had picked up recently. Uh, one of the things we carry as a staple in the store is um, hand, knit, hand knit, hand crocheted anything. We so appreciate um, the handiwork that goes into these items. We can't pass them up when we go to a thrift store, wherever we're sourcing from. Um, my grandmother, both grandmothers were avid uh, crocheters. I, I know knitters and I know how much work goes into these items. So they're really, they're timeless. They're sturdy and, 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 you know, you can't really, you know, you can't wear them out. They're essentially no, right. a forever thing right. in your, in your uh, closet. This is a fisherman's knit sweater with this great diamond pattern. So warm. So warm. This one, um, a lot of times they're wool. This feels like a blend to me. I don't feel it, Alex. Um, could be a wool. It could be a wool. No, it could be wool. I mean, I mean there's wool definitely in it. Yeah. You know, it's it's very, I mean, it looks very warm. It's a very tight. Yeah. So we're assessing yeah, the yeah, sweater. Yeah, it's beautiful. But I mean, the amount of work that goes into this is just incredible. I mean, and it's made perfectly. There's no damage to any of the threads or there's no staining. It looks like it was hardly ever worn. There's no pilling. Just beautiful. Um, great stitch this diamond print. Um, I would say this is like a, a medium large um, for a woman, probably a medium for a man, small for small. a man. Small for a man. I would say a small men's, um, but we just, everyone we, we get, we sell. Um, we just, because other people appreciate them too. One time somebody came in and she was really upset with me. She said, I don't know how you can sell these sweaters so cheap. You know, do you know how much work that goes into those? And I didn't want to tell her, but, you know, a lot of times we're rescuing these from the thrift store because, um, you know, they've been donated. So, you know, we, we get it. We get it. But we also like to pass them on at a really good price. So um, so this is number eight for $38. Number eight, $38 for the Fisherman Knit Sweater. How's everybody doing up there? We're having a little wine. We won't lie. Alex is next. Okay. This is a super cool denim jacket. It's kind of tie-dyed. 
acid um, wash. Yeah. Acid wash. Excuse me. Acid, acid wash. And it is made by Bill Blast. Do you remember Bill Blast, the designer? Um, it's cool. It's a size large, but this is like, this is like a women's size large. And it's really probably like more like a medium if, if I had to assess the size. Um, it's cool. It's I'd say 80s, right? 80s, definitely. Definitely, definitely 80s. Yeah, definitely 80s. Um, you know, denim is always in style, but this one is just a little more stylized because it's also blasted. They're reproducing that all the time in the, the store, the mall stores these Are they? days. Yeah, Are they? Okay. Uh, okay. wash. Yeah, okay. it's pretty common. But this yeah. is authentic. It's the real deal. The <laughs> real McCoy. So, anyways, if you're interested in this, it is. Number 40, and it's $30. 40, $30. Nice one. Okay. Um, back to that, what I was saying before about handiwork and needlepoint work and all that stuff. Yeah, Keith, isn't that nice? It's a beautiful jacket. Um, they're reproducing that acid wash look all the time these days in the mall stores, but this is the real deal. Um, so back to needlework. Um, in addition to knitting and crocheting, we also look at anything that's embroidered. Um, these are embroidered pillowcases in that beautiful percale. Um, you can't even buy that. You can't anymore. even buy it anymore. No. If you have never slept on vintage sheets. There's nothing like them really, but these are beautiful. There's two of these. So it's a pair. There's actually two and they match. They have been hand embroidered. They are super soft. They've been worn in, washed a lot. So they're silky soft, cotton, percale. And pressed. Yeah, and pressed. Someone ironed them. And somebody ironed them. Somebody My grandmother used them. to iron, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. This is back in the day. But you know what? I don't press mine, my percale sheets. I don't either. Yeah. yeah, and they're just perfectly fine. Yeah. So these are beautiful. And it's so nice to have a pair. It's very unusual to have a, a matching pair. But look at that. It's mostly peach and purple. Um, daisies on a fence. Maybe a little lilacs or... No, no. What are those flowers that the purple... Oh, flox, flox, yeah. Okay, I was gonna say wisteria. Wisteria or flox? Yeah, they're a little bit. Um, Very pretty. Strapped. Yeah. So the pair, normally twenty dollars. We're doing them for fifteen tonight. Number seventeen. That's a great deal. A pair of hand embroidered, beautiful cotton pillowcases, fifteen dollars. Number seventeen. Okay. Okay. okay, I'm gonna switch it up a little bit. Um, in my Zoom vintage, I, I sell a lot of um, children's vintage because I just think it's really fun. I mean, a lot of us are grandparents now and everyone we wore when we were kids. So this is a, an adorable little girl's dress. Um, I'll show you the back. It's got this hand smocking up here. This is made by, I'm sure that you will know this label, Holly Flinders. Holly Flinders, like the designer of girls' dresses, right? <laughs> okay, and this is a size five. I'm sorry, I can't see without my cheaters. And this is a size five. It's a perfect, like, little schoolgirl dress or just a party dress. It's really charming, really sweet, and it's in great condition. Um, and this is number 39, and it's $15. So for you grandmas out there, are you moms? Perfect. It would perfect. also look just... Adorable hanging on a wall. Oh, true. And yeah, you could just hang it on the wall. Child's room. Hang it in the child's room. It's perfect. And it's just doing adorable. this wrong. Sorry. There we go. Oh, thanks. Beautiful. Congratulations to Jeanette for getting some beautiful pillowcases. Yay, Jeanette. Woo. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to switch it up a little bit. Um, I'm going to go back to barware. So, um, we don't, we can't keep these in the store. So these um, drink shakers, um, look at this with the fingernails. Can you see the fingernails? She's drinking her cocktail with her perfect manicure. Coolest cocktail. 
It is. I've never seen one. But it's a good one. Fingernails. Of all the ones we've sold, I've never seen yeah. a manicured fingernail. Spectacular. Beautiful. And it says um, to your health across the top. And it's like in different um, languages. And I can't speak French, but I believe this is French across the top. Basically, it's saying to your health. It's different toasts. Um, it has the it has the original top, has the even the the screw off um, nozzle top. Um, it's just got some great you know recipes on it. Manhattan's, Bacardi's, Alexander whiskey sour. Lee, you remember this, right, Lee? Uh, do you remember mixing drinks for your? Did you do that at home with your mom and dad? <laughs> you mean was I the, the drink mixer for my parents? I did a lot of things for them, but I don't think that was one of them. <laughs> okay, I really thought that was right up your in your job description, but okay. <laughs> but anyway, this is. I hopefully you guys can see this this woman's hand holding the stem glass with her manicure, and there's some bubbles coming up here. It's just, it's a great one. You guys, I've seen a lot of these. This is a nice one. In great condition. All of the um, the graphics are in perfect condition, so really nice. Um, gift. It is a wonderful gift. Gift worthy. gift worthy for any bar, any drinker, non-drinker, somebody who loves the 1950s collecting. So anyway, this one's number two for $18. $18, number two. Um, super fun. No problem, Susan. Thanks for joining. We really appreciate you. And Hope K. Hi, Hope. Hi, you know. Congratulations. I'll be looking forward to cocktails at the K. That's right. We'll be there. Okay, I'm going to do a little jewelry. This is a, uh, a beautiful um, sterling silver brooch. And it has like, um, they're, they're not amethyst. It looks amethyst. There are crystals in there. It's signed, it's, it's signed that it's sterling. And they're just purple crystals. Okay, so it's a pin. And then there are matching screw back earrings. So for anyone who doesn't have pierced ears, it's a set. It's quite lovely. And they can be um, converted easily. Yeah, to you can convert them. Yeah. It's really beautiful. Nice, a nice uh, a coat pin, you know, a lapel pin. It's really fabulous. It's sort of unusual to see costume in sterling silver. Yeah. Like no, it is. It is. Rhinestones in sterling silver. It's pretty. Oh, I, I agree. And yeah. how, how old do you think? When do you think this is from Oh, I definitely say 50s. 50s? Yeah. yeah. It yeah. could yeah. be it's a little earlier, like maybe 1940s. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> That's pretty fabulous. Yeah. It's, it's big. It's a big pin. It's gorgeous. Yeah. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. So, so anyways, the set is, it's number 38 and then $48 for the set. Really lovely. And staying on the same vein with jewelry, mine's a little bit different. Mine's a, more of a 1960s enameled daisy pin. Flower power. Flower power for real. Um, so it's gorgeous. A lot of people collect the enamel pins. Uh, this one's, it's in perfect condition. There's no chips on it. There's no damage. Um, brilliant color. Perfect. I see a lot of people wear them in their hair, you know, put them on a chain. It's just a really fun, bright, springy summer piece. Um, and again, there, it's not often that you find them without chips on the edges because this is enamel over metal. So it's uh, in really great condition. I love this one. Happy to keep it if it does. <laughs> so <laughs> my order's showing. Um, this is number nine for $12. Number nine for $12. Yes. Okay. Um, okay. So, so our, our next item is a whole tea set, and Elisa's going to help me because there's a bunch of pieces to this. It's really charming. It's made in Italy. 
horrible. That's the teapot. So um, it has the cream and cream and sugar, hand painted. And it's kind of textured. It's yeah. textured, right? Yeah. And the it's mark. 19, 1958 on the bottom. Mm -hmm. Okay. Stay there. Okay. And so let me show you the interior. The interior is this beautiful shade of green. It's fabulous. It's like a mint. Yeah, mint, it's like green. A mint green. Yeah. And these are the, there are how many? Six. six. There's six cups and saucers. Cups and saucers. Yeah. And the cups and saucers are all there, which is. And they're all, they're all perfect. I mean, they're just adorable for for a tea party or for display. Really special. I mean, you don't find a complete set no, like this. You don't, you <clears throat> don't. I mean, even the cover to the, to the sugar is there. Yeah. And there's no, no chips on anything. It's. It's pristine. And the mint color inside is super cool. Love oh, it. A cup of tea. <laughs> cup of tea. Cup of tea. <laughs> okay. Okay. So how many pieces? Wait a minute. We're counting the pieces. We're counting the pieces. 12, 13, 14, 15, not counting the covers, but okay. 15. 15 pieces. Okay. And it's. And the forty-three and sixty dollars. Um, super. You know that's pretty unique. Um, I know you guys know that. Can okay, you, we thank congratulations you. to Patricia for buying that beautiful yellow pin. Yay! Thanks, Pat. Okay. I'm gonna go back to my needlework. Um. I have a whole collection of um, crocheted afghans from both of my grandmothers. Oh, 43. Sandra. Is that 43? Yep. The tea set goes to Sandra. Congrats. Sandra, that set is amazing. Amazing. Yeah, and she has a couple of plates, um, Sandra, that she's going to be showing you that also match the set. She just thought she'd split them up a little bit, but you might be interested in those too. So um, so next, uh, I was talking about my grandmothers. I have a collection of Afghans in my hope chest. <laughs> and um, so I really have an appreciation for these Afghans. Again, um, anytime we see them, we pick them up. A lot of times they're in crazy, outrageous colors and Color combinations. This one happens to be a uh, really nice cream white, um, a beautiful loose weave um, in perfect, perfect condition. No staining, no damage, no tears or rips, just unbelievably gorgeous. And it would go with any decor. Um, this, this represents comfort to me. Um, it's just a great piece uh to have and washable your, right and washable it's acrylic. yeah it's acrylic, acrylic so you can so. wash it nice. yeah and you can see the the pattern is really detailed this is crocheted really gorgeous lovely so this is number six for 28 dollars number six 28 dollars just stunning lovely Okay, so um, the tea set that I just showed you, these are two decorative plates that kind of go along with the tea set, but I thought I would sell them separately. So there's a bigger one and then the small one. You can hang these on the wall. Sorry, this be too much fun. Um, <laughs> um, you can display them, they're really pretty. And again, made in Italy. You could serve cookies on them at your tea party. Um, they're quite lovely. They're 41 and they're $35 for the set of two. Yeah, just lovely. Show the back again. So yeah, it's the same. Made in Italy, 1958. Good stuff. Good stuff. We um, One of the things we like to try to um, source for the store, because we are in Little Italy in Cleveland. Oh, number six was to Mary. What's number six? That was the Afghan. And, oh, uh, Afghan. <laughs> I think, Mary, you must have looked for, uh, to the weather forecast or something because it's going to be cold where you are this week. So congrats. Thank you, Mary. Love you. Um, what was I saying? Number six. Oh, yeah. Um, we, we, 
we try really hard to find uh, Italian pottery for the shop because we are in Little Italy, and we have you know there's some great um, ceramic stores in the sh in, in the neighborhood, but there's something nice about um, you know some ceramic vintage ceramic pieces as well. And 41. That's Sandra has her matching plates to go with her tea set. Uh, That's fantastic. Awesome. Awesome. You're awesome. gonna love this set. It is yeah. beautiful. Really beautiful. So okay, I'm gonna do um, a piece of clothing. Again, we were trying out the clothing. We know it's a little bit um, difficult because of sizing and all that, but we wanted to give it a try because a big part of our business here is clothing, vintage clothing. And a lot of times we sell um, more modern pieces too. As long as they're a great brand, good quality, unique styling, we're happy to sell that kind of thing as well. So this, um, the next, next piece um, is a hand woven, it's artisan made, beautiful buttons. It's a jacket, um, has two pockets, has this amazing detailing on the back. And those are actual patches, right? Yeah. Patches in there? Yeah. Yep. They're sewn on. It's almost like, um, it's like quilting almost, it is, yeah. but it's, it's like a, it's a, a, a really textured weave. So it's like really, there's a term for this in um, vintage reselling called lag and look. So the lag and look is usually like a high low look or a, a handmade or a artisan made, kind of oversized, oversized, yeah. um, slouchy, just really beautiful. Um, it's like you're wearing a piece of art. It's clothing it's, it's, it's as wear, art. It's wearable art. Yeah, exactly. So you can see all the detailed stitching and weaving, and the buttons alone are phenomenal. Um, a great lining too. So did I? Not, yeah. It, um, it has, it's fully lined as well. It's hard to see, but it's fully lined. Um, I have it sized at like an extra large, but uh, again, there's the back. It's just stunning, really. Piece of art. Um, there's no label inside, probably because it was handmade. Um, so this piece, I would say large, extra large. Yeah. I wouldn't, but it, I mean, if you, you, anyone could wear it. I mean, it just, mm -hmm. it's just going to be kind of slouchy. Yeah, it's a just definitely an oversized look. So, um, in the shop, we had it marked thirty nine dollars. We're tonight we're selling it for twenty two. So number twenty four for twenty two dollars. Great price. It's a really good price, you guys. It's a handmade piece. So cool. Bye, Mayor. Love you. Bye, Mayor. There it is, stepping back a little bit. And oh. congratulations to Liz. That's a great jacket. Thanks, Liz. You're going to love it. Oh, it's fabulous. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Yay. 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 <laughs> okay, here I go with another crazy item. This is a, uh, a stork planter. From 1963, it's ceramic. It's very cute. It would be a wonderful uh, baby gift for someone who likes planters. We just put some little succulents in here. Um, it's very cute, and it's in very good condition. It's a tiny little chip up here that you can't even see it. You know, it'd be um, cute. It's like if you were giving it as a yeah. shower gift, right? As a shower maybe gift, maybe like yeah. a cute little. Baby thing in there. I don't know. Yeah, you could. No, you could. You could. It'd be great. It'd be great for a shower if you're having a baby shower. Yeah. For, for a decoration. You know, oh like on yeah. The table, tabletop decoration. So but cute. someone who had a new baby, you know, to give them this with a little plant. I think that'd be very sweet. Is it marked on the bottom, um, Alex? It, it just it says. Uh, what does it say? Here, I'm gonna hold it up. It says Samson Imports, 1963, I believe. Yeah. So it, it's an oldie. And it's it's a little little yeah, it's very cute. cute. So if you like this, it's number 30 and it's $15. Yay. Yay. Okay. 
So, Keith, what are you buying? <laughs> I think it was a comment. <laughs> oh. <laughs> got so excited. I got excited, too. Okay. So, number 30. Hey, Joanne. Joanne. Well, this 30, was that your, your bag? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, she has new baby. Yes. Oh, she wants a new baby? Oh, so sweet. Thanks, Joanne. We appreciate you. Thank you, Joanne. You'll love it. Alex says thanks. It's really adorable. It's adorable. It's adorable. Um, the next item I have is um, it's a pair of silk pajamas. Okay, y'all. Thanks, Tracy. Thanks for being here. We really appreciate you. Uh, our friend Tracy's in the chat. She has a fantastic store um, called the Collectic Eccentric. Um, and it's on Larchmere, right? Larchmere. Larchmere. Right, yeah, in, in, in Cleveland. And she has a fantastic store. You'll have to check her out if you're local. If you haven't, check her out. Thanks for your support. We appreciate you. So, um, so this is uh, silk pajamas, okay? And this silk pajamas have suns and moons on it. Look at moon, moon. Stars, sun. Tracy says hi, Al. Hey, Tracy. <laughs> and this is pants. And it's a size extra large. Okay, these are pajamas. Anybody can wear a size extra large for pajamas. But it is like a it's a, like a light, light, pale gray with a little bit of a paisley print on print. It's got moons, it's got stars, it's got suns, it's got stretchy waistband. We love. Oh, really, really comfortable. Yeah. Comfy, cozy, and soft. Super soft, delightful, 100% silk. Um, and for these um, pandemic days, it's we perfect. spend all our time in our pajamas. <laughs> yeah, perfect lounging wear. So like I said, it's a size extra large. Um, so it's really roomy. It's a roomy set. So you guys, I'm offering you this at a deal tonight. It's number 25 for $22. Number 25, $22 for 100% silk two-piece pajamas. With moons and sun. <laughs> and Marcy, and Marcy, and Marcy. Congrats. Yay. Okay, we have to go back to the 80s. Not my favorite time for fashion, but I'm sort of appreciating it more now. I don't know why. My son actually found this, and um, he thought it was a, a, a men's uh, jacket, but it's actually a woman's, like the way that it buttons. So it's this plaid, this wonderful plaid. It's a, it's a wool acrylic blend. Then it has this fringe, you know, it's got this fringe going on. And of course it has big shoulder pads because in the 80s, like everyone had these like huge shoulder pads. It's like very dramatic, very Joan Crawford esque. It has pockets. Um, I suppose you could, um, a, a man could wear this too. It could be really sexy, but it's very cool. And this is 80s, yeah. Um, like fringe. I know. I love. I love. Don't you love the fringe? Have you ever seen a fringe? No, novel? I've never seen it because I it's love. Unusual. I like the juxtaposition, like the earthy plaid kind right. of workwear look, but then a little bit of a fringe. Yeah, it's it's like, kind of you know. It's very cowboy. It it's is. Very, yeah. It is. It is. It's very cool. Yeah. Okay. So, anyways, right. if you like this jacket, it can be yours. It's number forty-five, and it's forty-five dollars. Nice. Very cool. Um, and I'm going to keep on with my clothing. Ooh, let's see. So this classic brand Wrangler denim jacket. Whoop! Oh, look at my number. Uh -oh. <laughs> no cheating. Um, but it's it's um, it's great. It's probably '90s. It might be 80s. I don't know. Do you have a feel? It's got this kind of big, broad top. 
which kind of lends itself to 80s, you know, like kind yeah, of like yeah. this big chesty area. Uh, but it's a classic. It's Wrangler. It's an extra large men's sizing. Again, um, unisex. Right. Um, they're really, you know, nowadays, men's, women's, and really people buy whatever they're comfortable yeah, in. Roll up the sleeves. Too. Yeah, roll up, roll up the sleeves. Do a little sleeve roll up on it and make it a little more like, smaller, I guess, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. Alex makes the sleeve for us. So, um, super cool. Um, great. Little bit of wash wear, which is perfect. Just nice patina, nice authentic wear. You don't have to break it in. It's broken in for you already. But there are no significant flaws or anything, no holes or rips or tears. So it's number three for $35. Wrangler denim jacket. Here we go. Okay, I'm going to show you something I've owned for way too long. <laughs> These need to be adopted. They're pretty damn fabulous. These are from the 1950s. They're enamel on copper. Okay, and they're made in California. I have two. This is huge. You could display these in your lovely mid-century modern home. They're made by California Cloisonne. It says hand-decorated enamel on copper um, by the Radcliffe Studio. So they have the hallmark. They're beautiful. Um, like I said, I've owned them too long. I wish I had a place for them in my house. I do not. So maybe you do. They're kind of like a mauve. What would you call the colors here, Lisa? Um, yeah, it's like a purple into mauve. Um, lots of pinks and purples. And yeah, it's like it's definitely like wisteria. They're wisteria, yeah. If you're into yeah. wisteria, these are wisteria for sure. That's what they are. Very um, often these enamel plates are not this large. No, this, this is, is very this is unusual. Special. This is unusual. Yeah. I mean, you could hang this. This is like wall art. You could hang it on your wall. This one you could have on your coffee table. So you hang one up and you put it on your table. And you have this lovely pair. Where are you going to get a pair of matching wisteria enamel on copper plates? Only yeah. from us. Okay. <laughs> okay, so normally in this shop they sell for $95, but because I need you to adopt them, <laughs> I'm offering them up tonight, number 42. They are $75 for the pair. And if you um, care to make me an offer like less than that, if you really love them, I might consider it. We would like to rehome these. Yes, we do. We really feel strongly about. They're a work of art, yeah, right? Aren't work, they? Yeah, absolutely. They're a work of art. They need to go to someone who appreciates them. They're a work of art, and we know they're kind of unique in that not everybody can you know, have them in their space, but if you're in love with these, we can make sure they get rehomed to yes. you for sure. Yeah, just make it off. Okay, Lee, I think I'm gonna do the last giveaway because I think we're getting down to, how many items do you have now? I have one more item left. I think we have just like, I think I have two items. Or two. I think we might have three items left. So let's do the last giveaway. Thanks to everyone for hanging in with us. We really appreciate it. Um, so, um, what Lee, okay, what, what we're doing, for those that might have jo joined late, um, Lee, we're doing some trivia for Valentine's Day, and we're doing a free giveaway based on the first person to answer the question. How you come up with the answer, we don't want to know. We just want you to answer first. So uh, Lee's going to ask a question, and we're going to all get a chance to answer it. Okay, Lee. Go. Okay, for our last question, what insanely popular website debuted on Valentine's Day in 2005? Insanely popular website. <laughs> 2005. You, you could probably guess later. the answer. I thought it was later, honestly or earlier that it came out. I was kind of surprised for that. Anybody? Yeah, are you all typing furiously? <laughs> They're all Googling. <laughs> oh, Michael. Uh, good yeah. guess, Michael, but no. That's a good guess. <laughs> it's all right. Hey, good time. 
Uh, good guess, Tracy, but it's not Facebook. And Lisa, it's not Amazon. But Christine, it is YouTube. Congratulations. Woo! Congratulations. <laughs> Susan. <laughs> Very good. Thanks, you guys, for playing along. I appreciate it. Um, so how's everybody doing? Everybody doing okay? We're on time. We're like, it's almost 7.30. So we're doing good. Yeah. Okay, good. So good. doing really yeah. good. Okay. Um, so I think we have, you have just one item left. I haven't had So you have two items. And I have, I believe I have two items too. So, okay. So um, I think it's your turn. Is it? No, was no. it? My turn. It's, it's my turn. Go, Who's in charge? I'm in charge. Okay. Um, so it's my turn. I'm going to show you one of my last two items. Okay. So this is what we would call a fascinator hat. You can see the big cabbage rose on the top and the satin ribbons, the little netting. The netting does have some issues. Now, rarely do you find these hats where there's no holes in the netting, but the majority of the netting is there. Um, you certainly can wear this hat. So the way it works, let me take it off the stand for a minute. So the way it works is there is this ring in the back that holds it on your head. And then you wear it jauntily to one side. Oh yes, Tracy, thank you. Um, we will, we can talk about the unclaimed items at the end and see if anybody new arriving would like to purchase them. Um, we can do that. Thanks, Tracy. Good suggestion. Is there and, and, and Pat, I'm sorry, number 25 has been sold. Thanks, Lee. Yep. Okay, so this sits jauntily. You see this ring on the back of my head. This is what holds it on my head. So there's a big, beautiful cabbage rose on the top and this beautiful netting. And it really, these pets are just... They have no purpose other than being fascinating, right? Right. They're just intended to be fascinating. That's why they're called fascinators. Um, this one's pretty special. It's it's needs to be fluffed up a little bit in the rose area. I'm gonna close you out, Lee. And um, but it's really it's it's great for display. I mean, obviously you can wear this and it would look spectacular. Um, but it's a great display piece. That's why I like to put it on my hat um, stand. It would look good anywhere in your dressing room, your bedroom. But in addition to the hat, I'm also including the, the hat box that goes with it. Now, this probably was not the original hat box but it's a really good <laughs> substitute. <laughs> so it's pink and white stripe. Um, kind of goes nicely with the pink flower on the top of the fascinator. Um, if you've got the, um, well, <laughs> I was going to say something, but it's inappropriate. If you, if you're, if you don't, if you really are like style and really showing off, this is the hat to be worn. Yeah. But it's also great. Like I would, I would think just set it on a beautiful little table on top of the hat box on a little stand. It's lovely. So this, the both pieces, the box and the hat are number five for forty eight dollars. Number five, forties, um, fifties. I would say fifties. Fifties, yeah. Yeah, fifties, nineteen fifties. And it survived this long, you guys. And Marcy has a question. Is the flower blush color? Yes, it's a blush pink. It's a very sweet, light pink. Blush or bashful. So again, that was number five, $48 for both the hat box and the hat. Can I your Sure. Oh, 
Right. Okay, so we're gonna do another hat, and this is hard to see because it's black. The black uh, velvet, kind of beige almost, and it has yeah. this wonderful little flowers on the front. It's kind of a turban. Mm -hmm. Let me put it on so you can see. It's terrible with hats. I have a big head, so it probably doesn't fit my head, but it's kind of like a turban That's style. That's adorable. So Dude, it's like it's a, yeah. yeah. it fits on the top of your head, like a pillbox. So again, it's like not, it's just a hat to wear. Or just it's probably 70s does 20s. So you think the 70s, 70s, 70s doing, doing 20s. 20s, like a 20s recall. So it will probably, like if you have a small head, it'll fit your head better than me because I have a really large head, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so, and it's made by Valerie Modes in the USA. It's um, union made, union made hat. Black velvet turban, sweet flowers. And this hat is number 35 and it is $28. So sweet. Would it be good for winter or spring? I mean, it would go any time of year. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So I actually have another item after this. I thought this was my last, but. Number five for the hat and hat box. No. Uh, oh. oh. The cloche uh, black cap. What's number five? Number yes. five was your fascinator hat with the oh. box. Okay. Thanks, Marcy. We got it. <laughs> we'll get our stuff together here eventually. <laughs> um, awesome. You're going to love that. It's really adorable. Okay. So I have this set of... I try not to break them. They are cordial glasses, but they are stem cordial glasses. They are amazing in um, this beautiful variety of colors. There's like a steel blue, there's a ocean blue, a green, and a gold. And um, they're just really precious and special. I would line these up on a windowsill somewhere so the sunlight can come through them. You can certainly drink your cordials out of them um, or put a little flower in the top. You know, they're just like adorable little glasses. Very mid-century. I would say they're probably 1960s. Probably, yeah. I'd yeah. say 1960s, maybe they're 70s. Um, they're not super, super old, but they're, you know, probably, definitely mid-century. Um, Looking for my card. So um, these are number 23 and they're $28. Um, they would look great too on a bar cart. Uh, I just think they're they're intended to be somewhere where the light is shining through. Right. So pretty. Just really special. They'd look great in a china closet. China closet? <laughs> 23, $28. Thanks, Jeanette. I really yes. appreciate Thank it. Thank you so much. Thanks. Um, be sure to, sure to send us your information. For anyone that um, wasn't on earlier, we're just asking, there's a email address that's scrolling across the bottom. If you would just send us your PayPal email on whether you'd like things shipped to you or you'd like to pick them up in person at the store, and then if you want them shipped, we just need your mailing address. And then we will, we'll get back to you and we'll send you an invoice and, and we'll take it from there. Okay. Thank you guys. Yeah. Almost done, you guys. Sorry for my back. Is everybody doing okay? You have something else you can do? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Alex is regrouping. I have one more item. This is another stoneware pitcher. It's a big one. It is my head. As we were saying earlier, this is just classic farmhouse, um, cottage decor, beach house. Perfect for watering your plants, putting a big <laughs> bouquet of, uh, you know, daisies in there. Um, you could even use this as like a planter if you really wanted to just set a pot in there. Uh, super classic, elegant, simple, 
uh, lovely piece. This is made in England. Um, you can see the wear on the bottom. So that's kind of how an indicator of its age. Possibly it was part of a pitcher and bowl set. Oh, right. Like a like a yeah, like but I yeah, yeah I don't know for sure, but I mean it, it stands like alone. It. It's good enough. Yeah, yeah, okay. it stands alone. I mean it's just it's nice. perfect for you know I just really love these with big you know maybe sunflowers whatever. So um, this uh, we're also doing a good deal on this. We'd really like to place this in its forever home. <laughs> so originally it was forty nine dollars. We're doing it for twenty five. Number nineteen. $25. Okay. Okay, guys, this is my last item. I, you can't really see how cool this is, but this is like a men's jacket from the 60s. I mean, a woman can wear this as well. It's a wool, like plaid, and then it's also lined in wool. So it's super warm. Um, Really simple, kind of like a what would you call this style, Lisa? Um, it's like streetwear, it's kind of like um, hunter's hunter, jacket. yeah, it is like a hunter's jacket, yeah, great yeah. shade of green and brown. And this is like a just a uh, cream beige, and then the interior is like a, a taupey brown, very warm. And the label says, um, and I can't see because my cheat, I don't have my cheaters on. Could you read that label for me? I'm sorry, because they're so bad. Grand Forest Garments. Grand Forest Garments. You see the label? Yeah. So again, like you see all kinds of companies try to recreate this look, this faded one. Yeah, it's kind of like something you could buy at L.L. Bean. But yeah. It wouldn't be as good as this jacket. It's really no. like heavy duty. It's beautiful. It's, it's kind of like lumberjacky. It is. Lumberjack. That's a good, yeah. that's a good, a yeah. good style. Lumberjack style. So if you'd like to. Look like a lumberjack, number 44, and it's six to five dollars. It's great, great streetwear. Uh, it's, kids are loving the uh, woolens and the warm weather garb. So, number 19. That's the white pitcher. Goes oh, to Lisa. Yay. Thank you, Lisa. We appreciate you. So, okay, so I think we have. Uh, gone through all of our items. Um, as Tracy mentioned, um, you know, we could go through, if you guys are sticking with us, um, we know if somebody has to drop off, we totally get it. Um, but maybe we can run through what hasn't been sold currently and we'll kind of rely on you for that. Um, we might need some help if you could read us the number in the description of the things that did not sell. Uh, yep. We can we'll run through those quickly. We won't talk about them a lot unless you have questions. We'll just let you know what's still available. And if you want to claim it, um, just type in the again, type in the number in the chat um, or ask your question. So okay, we'll do a we'll do a what do you call it a speed round. <laughs> okay, right. first up, number three, the Wrangler denim jacket. Okay, Wrangler denim jacket. Size extra large men's number three thirty five dollars. Okay. Number four brown purse. Pocketbook purse top handle number one. Now did you say number one? No. Number four. <laughs> Okay, number it's, four. How much was it? Lee? It's twenty four dollars. Twenty four dollars. It's leather. It's handmade. Really nice. Perfect condition. Okay. Then number seven was the blue plaid throw. Lamb's wool throw blanket scarf. Beautiful. No holes or tears or just in great condition. Made in Switzerland. How much, Lee? $24. $24. And number eight was that fisherman knit sweater for $38. Number eight, hand knit, cream colored, fisherman knit. It's probably like a women's medium, large, a men's small. Uh, number 10, the sequin purse for $29. 
sequin evening bag with a chain pull and a kiss snap. It's lace over sequins. So number 11 is filigree rosary beads. Did you talk about that? No, I, I didn't. didn't think it came up. All right. Okay. Learning curve. Okay. This is a rosary bead, which we sell lots of rosary beads. It is crystal covered in filigree gold tone. Here's the cross <laughs> somewhere. It's, it's stunning, you guys. It is absolutely beautiful. Here is that Blessed Mother in the center. Or no, is that Jesus? I don't have my glasses on. No, it's the Blessed Mother. Blessed Mother. Yeah, I can see it all. Blessed Mother. But it's, it's really, it's old. It's got age. It's beautiful. It's probably brass filigree over crystal. Really beautiful. Um, it's number 11, $28. We sell a lot of rosaries and they are absolutely stunning. This, this batch is beautiful. Okay. Number 13 was the lavender fish tidbit tray. I didn't do this one either. <laughs> are we doing it now? <laughs> yeah, let's do it now. Okay. This cool. is, um, uh, made by Viking. You guys this is gorgeous. It's lavender. It's like a cookie tray or tidbit tray. It's got this beautiful scallop edge, frosted fish. Look at this fish. Beautiful. It is gorgeous. Made by Viking. Spectacular. There's sushi on it. <laughs> 13, number 13, $28. I don't see lavender a lot. To me, this is unusual, so. But just the face, I mean, I would probably put a collection on this of some kind. Like if I had a collection of, you know, mirrored compacts or, you know, jewelry, yeah. something yeah. like on probably your, on your dresser, on your dresser if you had like yeah. brooches, brooches, something like that. So, yeah, it's just really beautiful. So it's um, $28. I think that is the last piece. <laughs> How about number 16, white pillowcases? <laughs> yeah, but I think that's the last one. This is the last, okay. <laughs> this is a pair of pillowcases, um, all white, hand crocheted edging. There's two of them. Again, this beautiful percale cotton, um, lovely. Would go with any sheet set. Beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. There is one flaw on one of the pillowcases. There is a tear. You can see here. I would probably patch that. Um, these pillowcases are worth saving. They are beautiful. Um, number 16, $15. And next up would be number 18, which is the anniversary champagne glasses for $29. Beautifully etched. They say happy anniversary, 1940s, Art Deco, beautiful. Would make a great gift. Next would be the number 20, the flower iron stone. No, 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 sorry. I don't think you had that one after all. Um, oh, uh, now into Alex's area, I think. Uh, number 26, the, or maybe not, donkey tea towel? Yeah. Maybe yeah. that was yours. Yep, yep, yep. Donkey tea towel, number 26, the shamrocks. Irish linen, perfect condition, great gift. Twelve dollars. Yep. Then number twenty-seven is the two-handed Stein for fifteen dollars. 
Yep, we have the two-handed Stein. It's a romantic gift for Valentine's Day or for anniversary or wedding. It's very sweet. Mm -hmm. How much was that one? Fifteen. Fifteen dollars. So a uh, 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 note from your aunt, uh, plaid green men's jacket, is it available? And I believe it is, right? Yeah. Yes, it is. And that was number 44, if I remember, or if I'm reading this correctly. Are we talking about this one? Auntie? Do you know what size it is, Sam? It looks like a little, I think it's probably like a men's. Medium, probably a medium men's size. So yes, measure, I can measure across the It is chest. available. And that was number 44, right? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Okay, good. Yep, yep. Okay, next. Um, on the recap is the Ziggy Bank, number 28 for $15. The Ziggy, Ziggy is perfect, it's cute. <laughs> and after that, we have a flask for 25, number 29. Flask, the rattan flask, rattan and leather. And uh, silver bead purse for $35. Yep. Silver bead purse, nice little evening bag for shade and beads. Mm -hmm. Number 31. Number 32 was the crazy wooden drummer for $25. It's fabulous, just made by an artist. It was on the back. 33 is a blessed mother. For twelve dollars. Oh, you missed one too. Yes. Well, I missed. This is my little blessed mother. She's very sweet. She's tiny, just a little bust. She's made in Japan. Just a little thing to put on your little shrine in your house. Number thirty-three, and she's twelve dollars. Then the number thirty-five, the velvet hat, for twenty-eight dollars. Velvet hat. Flowers. Quickly followed by the gold beaded hat for thirty-five dollars. Gold beaded turban. Beautiful. The number thirty-seven is a yellow glass compote for thirty-eight dollars. Mm -hmm. Century modern. And number 39 was the girl's dress for $15. The polyfinder's dress. Number 40 is the tie dye, uh, uh, denim jacket for $30. There you go. Bill Blass. Are you going to get Bill Blass tie dye? Acid blasted. Number 42 was the enamel bowl set. Although, were those the enamel plates? Enamel bowls, yeah, plates. Yeah, okay. Yep, here we go. The bowl, yep. <laughs> And uh, the last thing was the blue plaid jacket, but we already talked about that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, the blue uh, plaid. The oh, plaid. sorry. Wrong plaid jacket, right. The 80s jacket with the fringe. Yep. That's for $45. Yep, correct. Yep. And that is the end. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> yes, I will get my store hours. Thank you, Tracy. Um, thanks, Lisa. Um, thank you, Lee. You're welcome. Well, will it fit, Kyle? If so, yes. Um, is he about a medium, Aunt Sheila? Okay. Sandra, the way this, okay, for anyone who is, um, 
purchase some or wants to purchase something or who has been selected to purchase something, there's an email scrolling across the bottom of the screen. If you would email us, um, thanks Michelle, honey, love ya. Um, there's an email, email us your PayPal email address, the email that you use with PayPal. And if you don't use PayPal, it's okay. Email us anyway, we'll figure out a way to invoice you. Um, and then let us know if you wanna pick it up in the shop or have it shipped to you. And if you want it shipped to us or to you, just send us your mailing address also. So send us your PayPal email address, whether you want to pick up or have it shipped. And uh, if you want it shipped, what your mailing address is, we will invoice you with your shipping quote in addition to the cost of the item. And then once you pay, we'll ship it out or we'll hold it for you in the store until you're ready to pick it up. Hopefully that makes sense, Sandra. Um, you just need to shoot us a quick email and uh, we'll work you through the process. Um, does anybody else have any other questions before we wrap up? We thank you guys so much. Um, oh, hi. Um, yeah, I'm in Cleveland. I'm in Cleveland, Ohio. I'm in the Little Italy, Italy, Little Italy neighborhood in Cleveland, Ohio. Uh, we are in the shop Thursdays through Sundays. Um, Thursday through Saturday, it's three to eight. We're open when the restaurants are busy. That's why we keep those hours. And then Sundays, we're open one to five, generally. We're also on Etsy. Um, you're, we're at, um, you can, if you go to our website, which is Moonstruck Clee, Clee is for Cleveland, uh, moonstruckclee.com, um, you can find our online store. Um, we really appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you, Lee. Thank you, Alex. Yes, thank you. Thank you, everyone. Oh, yeah. <laughs> thank you. Um, Thanks, this is, everyone. This was so much fun. I hope you enjoyed it. I know we did. Right? Yeah, we yeah. had a great time. It fun. Yeah. yeah, it was so, fun. Thank you. We really, really appreciate you sticking with us. It's our first time, so it's a little jangy, but uh, thanks to Lee keeping us straight. And we really hope to do these again. So if you're interested, please let us know if you're interested in seeing more sales. So um, we'll be a little bit more organized. Um, and and what we're trying to learn too what other people are looking for um, in terms of um, buying what they're interested in buying and collecting and such. So, but for those of you who just gave us more support, uh, we really, really appreciate you as well. And thanks for joining us. And uh, we'll keep you posted on the next one. Thank you. Bye. Good night. Night. Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs>